This morning, a letter was sent to Judge Arthur Ngoren, who of course oversaw Trump's civil trial, alleging that he was committing financial fraud. He was convicted of that and then ordered to pay hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, that letter was revealed to have an unidentified white powder inside. Now, if you are old enough to remember the outcome of the terrorist attacks that happened in this country in 2001, the World Trade Center being attacked. After that, there were these anthrax attacks where mail was being sent to various public figures that included a white substance. And in some of those cases, it actually was you know, an attempt to get people very ill. And in some cases, people would die if they got an anthrax infection. So when you get a letter that has a white powder in it, a white substance in it, it is very scary. And it is an awful thing to do. And Gorin himself did not open the envelope because all of his mail is pre-screened. The police reported that a court officer actually opened the envelope and white powder fell onto his pants. The officer luckily was not harmed, police were called and the powder was luckily found to be harmless. Now this has now happened three separate times over the last three days to different people. Jeez. So the latest of course is Judge Ngoren, but the New York Times reported just yesterday that a letter containing white powder was received at one Empire State Plaza in Albany where Attorney General Letitia James has offices. She has offices in that building. However, the Times did not confirm whether the letter was specifically addressed to her. And the powder in that letter was also found to be harmless. We might have millions of people watching this show, but you can be the difference maker because we just need 1% of our audience to be paid members. And then this show can be around forever. So you can make that difference. Click join now. So that's good news, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, but on Monday, Donald Trump Jr., Don Jr., uh, was sent a letter that contained white powder as well. The letter contained rambling references to California Governor Gavin Newsom. T totally agree. Uh, I don't know what it said, but it might be bad. And if it is, I agree. Uh, class act Mary Trump and Jared Kushner and ended with describing a plane crash of Trump Force One. Ugh. So the letter really was nonsense. It's been reported on, you can read about the contents of that letter. It's obviously someone who is not well, to say the least. The initial test results on the substance were inconclusive. The spokesperson said, though authorities don't believe the powder is deadly, the person added that Trump Jr's life is not in jeopardy. And Don Jr had a lot to say about this. He spoke mm -hmm. to the Daily Caller and said clearly, clearly, if this happened to a prominent Democrat, it wouldn't be tolerated and would drive news coverage for weeks. The media would blame all Republicans and force them to answer for it. But since it's me, radical haters on the left will largely get a pass and the media will barely flinch. Well, I'm here to tell you, I think this is disgusting, deplorable behavior. Mm -hmm. It is obviously meant to threaten people's lives or at least scare them for whatever political views they have. I've got no love for Don Jr. I also have no love for anyone who would send him a, a white powdery substance to try to scare or intimidate him. Same goes for all the other people that we just talked about who uh, were targeted with these letters with white powder inside. It's just so dumb and like, I just wanna get to a place of sanity again where political violence isn't something that the country's concerned about, yeah. you know, where you can have political, and I get it. Like we have political disagreements that are severe, right? Because there are people who believe all sorts of crazy things, including a growing number of people on the right who think maybe monarchy will make sense in America. Mm -hmm. Terrifying. That doesn't make me wanna send people white substance in letters, okay, and scare them. Like it's just so dumb. So stupid, and I hope the authorities yeah. investigate it and these people are brought to justice. Yeah, 100%. Um, look, he's right in some things that he says they're wrong, and others, uh, you're covering it now. Mm -hmm. We covered it in the damage report this week. We didn't give it a pass. Like, what? Weren't we the deranged commie Trump, you know, hating lefties that you're talking about? We're, we're condemning it. 
multiple times. And as always, when we you know, are fair and consistent, it will mean nothing it to those nothing. who hate us. Let's just be clear about that. Um, but also, uh, and again, as I said on the damage report, but I can't assume that everyone watching this will have watched the damage report. Um, some people don't, it's a personal failing of yours and you should work on it. But uh, I will remind you and everything that I'm about to say in no way makes it okay to send Don Jr. literally anything in the mail, don't send Don Jr. any mail. I will remind you that not only did his own father demonize a list of like 12 to 20 people that Cesar Sayak ended up sending pipe bombs to. It was like literally Trump's enemies list. True. Just to be clear. I also want to remind everyone that the ways that you know, politicians have been intimidated is not limited to powder being sent in the mail. You might recall that a man broke into Nancy Pelosi's house with a hammer and tried to murder, well, tried to murder her, but almost murdered her husband. Also and I, true. Also true. And I will remind you that after that happened, on multiple occasions, I'll say many occasions, Don Jr. joked about it, joked about the guy whose skull being cracked open being gay. It was just a hookup. It's so funny. It's a Halloween costume. You can wear underwear and a hammer. It's so funny when you don't just intimidate someone through the mail, but you literally try to assassinate them. You try to kidnap or torture Nancy Pelosi. You try to kill her husband. He thought that was hilarious That's in multiple such a good cases. Point, John. I, so doesn't justify sending him anything, but also f him to the end of days. That's why we pay John the big bucks, dozens of dollars every month. That's a fact check. Part of that really great commentary because I had totally forgotten about the, He's the worst. very serious attacks on public figures that are politically motivated. And I think what happened to Nancy Pelosi's husband is a really good example of that. Look, I do not enjoy the fact that Nancy Pelosi is in Congress. Like she's not my favorite politician by a long shot, not even close. But again, Political, we should be able to handle political disagreements like reasonable, calm adults instead of individuals who think that it's totally okay to engage in political violence to get what you want. Yeah. And I just feel like there's a growing percentage of voters who think that, you know, in some cases, political violence, that's okay. And it's not, it's not okay. Yeah. So, anyway, thank you, John, for making that comment because I think that was a really, really good point. And Don Jr. Give us credit where credit is due because we don't like political violence, but you should also call out your own side when they engage in political violence.